But if you want to stick around, we'll do a little Q&A and I'll answer all your questions the best of my abilities. There's some good ones I already uh, starred in the chat. And that's what we'll start to do right now. And let's jump into it. A little Q and A. Ba, 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 ba. So, uh, SDSD says, Rob, to be fair, even though Sweatcoin didn't pay you, they gave you, they give you coins with much discounted prices. Isn't that the same thing? Not that anything wrong with it. Not really. And here's why. Because first of all, you have to understand, for me to invest into this, I'm taking a pretty big risk. It's, it's risk everywhere, right? So if I invest into Sweatcoin, which I did, and I'm very super biased, everything I talk about on this channel, uh, I've invested into. I talk about Bitcoin because I've invested into Bitcoin. I talk about Ethereum and Cardano and Chainlink and all those things because I've invested into them. But Sweatcoin's a little bit different. It's an unproven it's, uh, it's got a lot of good traction. It has over 110 million downloads with 13 million crypto wallets already been uh, produced. It looks good. But you have to remember, though, is that when I get in early for myself that I invest into it, I cannot sell any of these tokens for the first year. And even at that, that cliff at 12 months, and then at that time, I only get a percentage, like around 10% or at 12 months. Yeah, 10, no, 12%. And then over the next... 24 months, they slowly release those tokens. So I am in this project for two years at minimum. Uh, it's a lot different than that. So I'm taking a huge amount of risk to lock up all those funds into Sweatcoin, whereas I could have done a, probably a safer thing, which would be into invest into uh, you know, the stock market, S&P 500, NASDAQ, or something like that, or Bitcoin, just dollar cost average. Probably a lot safer. There is a massive amount of risk here. It's just the truth. And I put in a lot of money. So, but I'm okay with that because that's something for me. I'm an investor. I understand the risks. I understand that I could lose it all. And that's why I'm always talking about uh, these things that uh, we say, hey, if you, if you, uh, ah, where'd it go? Let me get this out of here. These rules underneath me, it's all gone. I Meaning don't, don't uh, invest money you can afford to lose. I was thinking about that. And I go, I could lose everything on this investment. But this is uh, one of those plays I did. Uh, treat everything like a scam until proven otherwise. And that's why we did the deep dive. We talk about uh, the cut system and uh, uh, why we think it's going to do well. Uh, don't leave anything on exchanges. Don't invest in, and uh, trade on leverage and take profits along the way. These are the rules that I live by. You don't have to live by them. I'm not your dad. But uh, this is the thing that I look at this and I evaluate it and I think I have. This is why I invested into this project. So to answer your question, <laughs> to go back to this one, it's a little different. I'm taking a pretty big risk here, and that's just the truth, but I'm okay with that. All right. Henry says, Satoshi Miles is not Sweatcoin. So, so Henry, there's another, another app called Satoshi Miles, also called Smiles. There's a link in the description. You can download that as well. And for every so many steps you take, I think a couple thousand, whatever it is, you get Satoshis. It's not a lot. It's a couple cents, but it adds up over time. And I've uh, included both of those. Here's a hint. I use both of them on my phone, and they work out great. So on one I get sweat, and the other one I get uh, Satoshi's. Not a bad deal. Uh, birds, bees, and trees, per your June video on Celsius. Uh, what do you think the time will be and how much percentage will be recovered? All the growth are missing out to from their advertising, which was uh, false and a lie. Yeah, it's true. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, we all got screwed. We all got screwed by a company that said, hey, we can manage risk and we're okay with uh, putting into these uh, super risky uh, assets. And uh, they lost a big chunk of everything. And that's why they became insolvent. So from here, the time frame, I'm not for sure on the time frame, but uh, if you want to follow anybody, follow Simon Dixon on Twitter. There's also, I think I have a link uh, to his channel in my, uh, in my uh, description as well. But he's part of the Bank of the Future, and he's been doing updates, seems like hourly over there. And uh, he believes that, well, first of all, what, they want, what they're trying to do is take the mining operation that Celsius has and turn them into, into profitability. And meaning that uh, when it actually becomes profitable, then they'll start to make uh, the investors whole. That's just only a part of it. Then there's a, uh, a big discussion about 90-day clawbacks. And Simon talks about it, goes, I don't think that's going to happen because what's going to, what's going to happen to Celsius is the company's probably going to dissolve. They're going to sell off those assets. It's going to be a whole new, uh, different company. And then, of course, they can't claw those back because that's, that would be a legal aspect that you can't cross. 
So again, uh, if I take a look at a timeline, I don't know about Celsius. The more realistic one is Voyager, and we're going to get uh, to know who uh, is actually buying up Voyager at the end of this month. Uh, I think the bids are actually due on the 11th. Correct me, or maybe it's the 6th, uh, which is actually a couple of days, I think. And then from there, then they're going to disclose who is actually going to buy Voyager. I think that's the first one. For Celsius, I just, I'm just under the assumption that we're all going to take an, a haircut of at least 30% moving forward. And um, lesson on me to not trust them. But you know what sucks is that, I mean, these companies, like, it's not just me going, you know, Celsius is good. There's so many people that did their due diligence and really took a real hard look at it. And uh, I mean, heck, even a, a pension fund in Canada with $150 million, uh, they had analysts look at that day and night. And they said it looks solid. And they lost everything. They, well, it's stuck there. I shouldn't say lost. And uh, here we are. So it's just one of those things that, uh, as far as a timeline, expected to go through probably this, this entire bear market. That's just me. Uh, worst case scenario. All right. What's this? Theon and Ani. I never got paid by sweat. Sweat should sell health insurance. More sweat, more deductible. Your insurance. Watch the, the deep dive video. Because that's one of the things. You know how, uh, first of all, did anybody get a paycheck from Facebook because they sold our data? Did anybody get a paycheck for that? No? Okay, just curious. So, like, with, in their terms and conditions for Sweatcoin, they say specifically they, that they don't sell your data. And the plan is to, give this, to, to organize and govern via a DAO, a Sweat DAO, and then you're going to be able to sell your data to insurance companies or anybody that you want to. And that's how you can monetize yourself. Now, that is the most interesting thing. But that's in probably phase three or phase four. Uh, again, watch the deep dive video. But they've got a lot of things going on. I think that's where just part of the value is with uh, Sweatcoin. And they've got a pretty good plan. They've been around since 2016. 110 million downloads. Come on. The Mad Monk says, I'm still underwater. I think some of us are too, but that's a cool website. Thanks. Uh, and Digital Bobby says it right. This is Bitcoin's worst performing year. And I think September is one of its worst performing months. So just be aware that September is probably going to suck too. And uh, that's it. See, I know people say I'm very bearish. I'm just a realist. You know, I just take a look at what the, what the data shows you. And um, I mean, that... Uh, that video that we took a look at with uh, with Rosenberg, I mean, that was a great video, a great uh, data from a chief economist who says, look, it's going to be a two-year recession. This is it's, this is why, dot, dot, dot. This is why people can't say it's a recession, dot, dot, dot. No one wants to say it. I'll say it. I don't care. Yeah, YSK, I'm happy here. It's good. Uh, question, U.S. residents cannot buy sweat coin once the tokens get listed. So there's a there's a dichotomy here. So bifurcation, separation, what do you want to call it? So for here, if you are a U.S. resident, you won't be airdropped those sweat crypto tokens, even though you may have accumulated them. They, they will come later once we fire Gary Gensler and he realizes that crypto isn't a bunch of security, securities. So for right now, it's not going to happen. But as far as, and of course, the rest of the world can do whatever they want to because everybody's passing America by. This is America I grew up in, but whatever. So for this one, um, to buy Sweatcoin is a little bit different. So for these five global um, exchanges that Ophir was talking about, that's going to be listed on day one. Not for sure if Americans can buy these cryptos, but there's going to be, the, you know they're going to eventually make their way to DEXs relatively soon. So if one was so inclined to buy a crypto on a decentralized exchange using Tether or USDC, that they could probably do that. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying that is what could be done. That's it. Master Creator says it's 100% a scam. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I can't tell you if it's 100% not a scam. I just looked a lot of, I did a lot of work into it. It looks pretty good to me. Mm, all I can say. Dumb idea. Sweatcoin will crash. Garbage. LOL. Charles, again, could be correct. It could uh, totally crash. Maybe you shouldn't invest. Probably shouldn't invest in that one. Let that one slide by. That's okay. 
Ruben Gibbon says, I wonder what the catch is with Sweatcoin. How do they get the consistency? It's pretty easy. Like I used uh, Steppen. I didn't like it because first of all, I had to buy the NFTs. I know people say, well, the NFTs are much more, much less expensive. I paid over a thousand bucks and all I was doing was repairing those damn things all the time. And then people would say, Rob, you just don't know what you're doing. You didn't set it up right. Sure. Probably so. But uh, as, as time went on, I, I kept playing around with it and taking the advice and it still sucked. And I know some people love it and that's great. And it probably works for you. It just didn't work for me. That's all I'm saying. But uh, as far as like consistency, it just, it's a funny thing because it just goes on your phone and you don't have to do anything. Like if you, it just happens. It just counts the steps and off you go. And uh, then you can go to the marketplace and you can use those sweat. And like I bought a couple of these uh, earbuds. They're not iPhone or Apple earbuds, but they work pretty well. And I just accumulated all these sweat coins and bought those and that was it. But then you got to remember, like I said, like the, um, the economic incentive for sweat, there's many. First of all, did anybody pay to watch this video? No, but you probably watch an ad. And if you didn't watch an ad, maybe you did pay a premium service. So that's just part of like a uh, sweat economy. Also, um, you know, when you went to some exchange to buy a crypto, was it free? Probably not. Maybe you had to pay a fee for that. Well, that's what uh, the sweat wallet's gonna allow you to do at some point. And then of course we talked about selling your data uh, later down the line and a couple of d different other things as far as like NFTs and stuff like that. There's a whole different ways to do these things. And I think it's uh, gonna do pretty well. That's just me though. And uh, BBTL says 100% scam. There is no free lunch. That is true. That is true. Uh, just like when he came to YouTube, he had to watch a video because advertisers. Did you know, I don't know if anybody is aware of this, but uh, YouTube pays me to do these videos. They do. They don't pay me squat, but they pay me a little bit. It's a uh, revenue share, 55% roughly of uh, advertisers, and then they get 45%. I think that's what the ratio is. I always think they're lying to me, but whatever. And, uh, you know, everybody who, where the eyeballs are, that's what advertisers pay for. So it's kind of same thing. Uh, Ruben says, what's the catch? Yeah, you got to walk. And th there is a one downside. They're trying to work on this. Like if, um, like if you're on a treadmill, it won't work. Um, I want to say, I don't think it works on bicycles. And I think if, uh, for wheelchair individuals, uh, people wearing wheelchairs doesn't work as well. I think that's what it was. Okay. Joe C, if I got to give Cussy to stake, B5 or C5, I'm not doing it. ETH2 blows. Buy something some can't take from you or slash out of existence. Yeah, there was a, there was a quote today. Uh, Heidi from, I'm proud of YouTube channel. Her and her husband do a good channel. And uh, she says, hey, just as a reminder, you can't unstake your ETH after the merge with the merge. And she's right. There's a thing called a uh, Shanghai upgrade. That's going to be six to 12 months later. So if you were thinking about unstaking, then it's not going to happen. And some people are like, I'm never unstaking. Cool. That's good. Find me. Uh, and Taylor says it's pretty funny. He says, now you too <laughs> can make walking a taxable event. Eh, that part does suck. But just remember, if, uh, I mean, if, you, if you're paying in taxes, that means you made some money. So if you made a buck and, uh, you know, capital gains tax is 20%, well, you're going you're gonna to keep 80 cents just for walking, and the government gets that 20 cents, which is why I, when people say that the government's going to ban crypto, no, they're not. They're not going to ban crypto. They want to tax the hell out of it. Why would they do Why would they? Why they, they wouldn't get rid of it. And then uh, MS says, pretty obvious that we're going to be in a recession as long as that clown Biden is in office. This made me think about something. Uh, whether you agree that Biden is a clown or not, doesn't, it's, it's irrelevant. I will say this, that if we go through a recession for two years, he's definitely going to be out. And anybody who comes in after that is going to be looked like a genius. And I know people will say, well, he really didn't do it, that didn't do it, but it doesn't matter. Public perception is the reality. And the next person to come in, because again, recessions, how long do they last? About two years. How long does Biden have? About two more years. Next person to come in, if he loses, it's going to look like a genius. Uh, and then dink, dank payload. I just want to know why sweat has value. Eh, things that we talked about. Again, 
you can buy sweat. You can buy things in the in the store. Uh, you can use those uh, sweat for the fees when they actually have that crypto to crypto or or fiat on ramp. And then of course selling data. And then if you want to get into NFTs and minting all that stuff, go right ahead. So there's a good bunch of different ways. And of course, uh, you know when you're on there, the uh, the aspect of of where the advertisers are and as Ophir told me behind the scenes, they got a pretty pretty good amount of people lined up because that's where the eyeballs are. And that's what uh, comes down to marketing. <laughs> Why so much hate on Richard Hart? Much love to Do Kwan. I don't know. Ah, okay. This one's a good one. Albert Guy says, treadmill and bicycles do work, but you need to place your phone on your thigh to generate the proper motion to have to count steps. Excellent. That's interesting. I thought they had a GPS type of uh, instance of where they would do that, but maybe I'm right. Can you transfer your sweat coins to friends? Yes, absolutely. Matter of fact, I just doled out almost a thousand sweat coins this month because I have a a uh, a competition. Like, uh, if you download Sweat Coin, you can follow me, and if you, and if you're one of the top ten to beat me, I, I pay you fifty sweat coins. Might be worth nothing, but who knows? So check that out. And then this this one, I had a bunch of winners and some different aspects. So I just paid everybody 50 sweat coins. <laughs> Does YouTube know about my ad blocker? I'm sure they, I'm sure they do. I don't even know how that works. Like I use brave. Well, actually I use, I use brave, but, uh, I still, I don't see ads cause I'm on uh, the, the premium thing. Ad revenue. That's right. This is interesting. I keep a lot of my tokens in my hardware wallet using the Binance Smart Chain blockchain to the lower transfer fees, which is great. Is there any way I can get I can get stuck and not able to transfer a swap out of them? I don't think you can get you can get stuck. You can have failed transactions. It's happened to me many a times on Ethereum network. But as far as like stuck, I don't believe so. Unless of course the Binance Smart Chain gets hacked and it all goes away. But that's about it. Uh, is Sweat app available in the U.S.? This app is available in the U.S., but the uh, crypto wallet is not. Not for now. And don't blame me. Go talk to Gary Gensler. Yeah, you can walk for a cause. Works well. Yeah. Tesla says, Rob, I prefer this way of jumping to the Q&A. Yeah. yeah, this one. So yesterday we did a different way, and I'm just going to keep it the same way we do it. Uh, and then I'll split the Q and A later, so people don't. Because the algorithm for YouTube isn't good when you have over an, about an hour video. People don't. People look at an hour and go, "I'm not watching all that." So I I cut it up. Ooh, Kid Charlemagne's got a good point. The difference in attitude between people that lived the 2018-19 bear and those that did not is so obvious. Yeah, it's the truth. Unfortunately. Um, YS cases, I missed the part about how to get the, the sweat wallet. So the, you can't get the wallet, the crypto wallet, because you're in America like me and you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuck. I make it sound so bad like to be stuck in America. But uh, if you look at, there's a link in the description. If you scroll down, let's get the little running person right here. All right. Uh, there's a link to download it right there. And you can download the app. You just can't download the wallet. And, th and there's, there's, it's two different things. The app allows you to accumulate those sweat tokens and the wallet is just for the airdrop and you, for you to spend the crypto, the crypto tokens. You can, you can spend the sweat coins. Those aren't, those are web two non-crypto stuff on different things that are in the marketplace within the app. Hope that makes sense. Uh -huh. I think that's it. Yeah, me too. Hawaii Island says, I like any product that promotes exercise. So the only way to benefit off of sweat coin is through an app, in-app purchases and discounts, correct? So the only way to benefit off of sweat coin is through in-app purchases and discounts. So there's that part, but then you have to also remember that this will be a crypto at some point. Actually, 
September 12th. So in that regard, you could go to a decentralized exchange. Well, you're in Hawaii, so you're stuck in America. But right now for, for you, you're not going to get the crypto token anyhow. But if you buy it and want to use it as a, as a crypto, 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 like a Web3 type of thing into like a decentralized exchange, yes. Then you can, you can exchange that for another crypto. Wouldn't that be great? Let's say that you accumulate, I don't know, 500 sweat coin. Any sweat coin gets to a dollar. That's five hundred dollars, and you can buy, you know, a third of a Ethereum down the road. It's not bad. Mark uh, Evangelista says, "Can Sweat track how and where you move?" Yes, it can. And the next question is, will they sell that data, or will they make that public in some way? So we had this this interesting conversation. Me and Oleg, uh, he was the co-founder again. Uh, there's a link in the description for uh, the deep dive that we did. And he said that, you know, we could see, he said, we could see all the data as far as like, you know, how much people were not moving during the pandemic. He goes, and this is pretty valuable data for the governments. He goes, but we won't sell that because we believe that your data is your data. And that's in our terms and services and so on and so forth. So I go, that's, that's pretty good. So yes, to answer your question, they can track you. And that's pretty much how they can verify if it's an actual realized or a real movement and not, which would actually bring me to that next point. Where the heck did I put it? Ah, so there was this video that came out here. Bring this up. Let's see. Profile. Aha, this one. And it goes, to, it, it shows you that there's a bunch of phones with the Sweatcoin app and they're moving back and forth. And it looks like they're going up on the steps, which would be bad because if that's the case and anybody could do that, and then it would just, co it would collapse the whole uh, Sweatcoin economy per se. So that's what's great about these long form uh, videos. So Oleg actually answered this question. I think it's at the, actually I said it right here. It's at the 40 minute and five second mark. And he says what they do to combat that is, of course, there's, a, there's things that they can't tell us how they do it. He goes, but as far as the uh, algorithm, it will uh, stop or nix all of those uh, steps and set it back to zero. So I'm like, well, sounds like a plan. And I think that's, that's why I was, kinda, I was kind of bewildered when someone said that you could uh, be on a treadmill because I didn't think you'd do that. Anyhow, I'll answer your question. And, uh, ooh, an hour, that's it. Let me make sure we don't have a bunch of other questions. Uh, and Martin says, I don't use an app that gives me a Google. Don't use it then. Could someone get around the US restriction of the Sweatcoin aspect to download the wallet and cash out with a VPN. I don't know. The Federal Reserve is a private company. The Federal Reserve is as federal as Federal Express. And that's it. End the Fed. And on that note, that is it. So look, everybody, we're going past an hour. I want to say thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and all that good stuff. And that is it. So go enjoy your Sunday. Should be a nice day wherever you're at, hopefully. That's it. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.